All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of On the Guest List with Fox trying to get down White Sox, Dave, Kenny Carkeet, and Dante. This is something different we're doing. We're rolling out an extra episode every week. It's a short, quick hitting green room pick segment that we will be dropping every single Thursday. If you are familiar with the podcast, what green room picks are, it's basically a top three Mount Rushmore. Almost think if you're a Chicago Barstool fan, think Snake Drift esque type of a thing. We're going to be counting down the top three of a different segment each week. We've done this on the podcast previously, and we thought we'd roll this out because of the release of Donda and the long-awaited Donda. We're going to be doing our top three artists that we want to hear new music from, that we want a new album from. Gentlemen, I- I'm excited to get into this. I'm ready to fucking trash you guys. Uh, personally, I, th- <laughs> I think I think my list is incredibly strong here. I don't think you guys stand a chance. Uh, obviously, the number one name that we're going to take out of this is Kanye West. He would have been my number one pick, obviously, but we just got that. I have a lot of artists that are dropping new music that I wanted to hear from. The Brandi Carlisles of the world, who that was my number one person I wanted to hear from, but she has a new record coming out next month. I don't think we waste any fucking time. I think we get into it. Who would like to go first? How are we going to do the order here? All right, White Sox Dave is going to go first. Then we'll do Kenny, then Dante, then me. I'll I'll go last. So, But are we going to do it Snake? Am I going to go top of the round? It doesn't matter. Let's just go in the same order. Let's just fucking rapid fire and so quick history in the snake drafts our first episode was like 20 minutes long now they're like an hour 45 minutes long so this could turn into a whole fucking thing like that but we we start off we just rapid fired went around the circle and kind of just voted on who was best and i am the best snake drafter if you do listen to the snake (laughs) draft you would know that i will take ownership of this kind of segment we're doing on Thursdays now. And my first pick without question, they haven't dropped an album in 15 years. Ooh. I'm going with outcast. It seems like they've dropped oh. a loser. Oh, Colin came in with the, he was going to have the best list, but Jesus wow, Christ, Dave. dude, I was not expecting outcast. I've got God, something dude. to say. South got something to say. It's the best thing that's ever happened. Odie, Odie, awesome. dope, delicious. God damn Dave. All right. Well, Fuck, that was not exactly how I thought that was going to go. Dante, did you have that? Yes, obviously. But, I mean, Dave, do you know what their last album was without Googling it? Uh, Idlewild? Or Sp- Speaker Box was like 03, 04. Yeah, yeah. that was way long time ago. No, Idlewild Box- was probably, oh, it was 2006 because it was Idlewild, Idlewild right? Was, yeah, yeah, Idlewild was yeah, 2006. And Idlewild that was that been their last album. That doesn't really count. Yeah, Speaker Box Love Below was their last real record. Yeah. But I mean, Idlewild is good. I, I don't have a problem with Idlewild, but Speaker Box Love Below. I, so we kind of should, should we make sure that it's just studio albums instead of yes. like, you know, okay, yeah, studio. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So it would have been like 18 years then. All right, Outcast and is a good first pick, dude. It's to the listeners, first, you can't, like the band you choose hasn't, it can't, have released uh an album or anything in the last two years that's the rule yeah. we have then you're not really waiting you don't really right, want exactly. that they, they had a fucking last shit. month right all right all right kenny go for your first pick fuck you just kidding uh <laughs> my first pick kendrick lamar man like yeah. i mean every record that he's dropped which hasn't been that many has been fucking revolutionary yep. the record of the year and i'm ready for that moment again from fucking kendrick me too i, I mean you know it's coming you oh, I know it's coming. He's already on. kind of teasing a couple songs here and there, and it's like, it's coming. It's coming. I can't wait. Yeah. What's your favorite He's so Kendrick fucking album? good. Uh, it's damn. I mean, Butterfly was obviously fucking revolutionary, but like, damn just got me so good. I listened to it every day, all day for at least six months. <laughs> that was probably like everything before, before damn was good, I thought. But that was like his announcement to the world that yo i'm a motherfucking superstar yeah like yeah. butterfly was a beautiful hip-hop record damn to me was like game changing from yep. start to finish the production who was on, like the way it went it was yeah game changing give right. it to me Kendrick. dante you're first you know pick. what I, you know what i fucking hate about this by the way what is so we decided to do that we were gonna record this yesterday a little background for the listeners and i kind of had my notes prepared yesterday and a lot of these albums for different bands that I was looking at, I'm like, oh, nah, shit, dude. They probably think this album from this band came out like a year ago. And I look and it's been like four years. And I'm like, fuck, dude, I'm getting old. No, it's more that yeah. the world stopped spinning. And I don't even know what a year is anymore. It's yeah, seriously, the, the last crazy, two man. years don't True. count as anything. It's been a long True. week. Dante, True. your first pick. It's been I- a long time. 
Believe I mean, no. two fire picks to lead off a lot of pressure, but Dr. Dre detox, give Ooh, it to us. Okay. Fucking okay. give it to us already. 20 years, 20 years. It. I've been waiting for this album along with everybody else. Yep. And I mean, That's, we got, we got Compton, but that was more of like a, like a, a soundtrack piece I've, to the movie. Right. I yeah. wasn't in love with Compton as much nearly as obviously chronic in 2001, but it's fucking, I see Scott storage fucking everywhere. And he made so yep. much of that 2001 record. So let's fucking go. Dre set it down. That's a good pick dude. So far three absolute fucking bangers. Jesus dude. Uh, for my first pick, I'm going with, a follow-up to one of my favorite albums, one of my introductory albums of hip-hop. I'm going Black Star. For those of you who aren't familiar with Black Star, it is Most Def and Talib Kweli. They put out in 1998 one of the seminal classic fucking rap albums of all time. And since then, they're both active. They're both still making music. They're both still around. And they've been on and off teasing this back and forth. But it's never materialized. I want another Black Star album so bad. That is a hip hop nerd pick, ladies and gentlemen. That that's is a very nerdy. Pick. I that's, no, that's great. That's that's like the one I of those songs. Of those are those records that you forgot you loved. You yep. know what I mean? That you, it's like, oh man. Shout out most of Yasin Bay, my fucking boy. They've God, only man. put out one album. Well, well, one album. Yeah. Then I'm looking at them now because I I'm hand up. I've never heard of them. Obviously, but, I've heard of most of in and and it's like Cody, that, nine, that that like mid nineties underground. Yeah, yeah. Season. Skateboard, hip hop, fucking gang star kind of world. My shit, dude. Uh, Dave, go with your second pick. God damn, that was a heater of a uh, first round. Second pick, I want to say my. So no one's gonna touch my last pick unless Dante thinks of it. But uh, I'm gonna go with Red Hot Chili Peppers. Their last studio album was 2016, The Getaway. I absolutely fucking love them. That's a band that's been around for almost 40 fucking years now, yep. and that makes me want to puke my fucking guts out. <laughs> um, because that's like my my sister is the one who I like. My sister and my dad, I should say, are the two that like have introduced me to the most styles of music. My dad is all classic rock, Stones, that kind of shit. My sister was reggae rock, and once I first time I ever listened to this, uh, Chili Peppers, I was, I was seven, eight, nine years old, however old it was, I was like, like out of body experience. You know, yeah. I fucking love the Chili Peppers. I, they're the band, them and John Mayer. I've probably seen the most. Hand up. Not a Chili Peppers guy. I not think a Chili Peppers. Chili Pe Why the Red Hot wow. Chili Peppers and John Mayer is the bands you've seen the most, you <laughs> white fuck. Hey, Jesus and Christ. I, like, followed by Dave Matthews yesterday. Band. I am fucking outraged that I didn't get a ticket to it. <laughs> oh, my God, Dave. I just didn't want to go oh, on a Monday. I'm like, ah, fuck. By the way, man. Kenny, the band I've seen the most is Dave Matthews. I've seen him over 10 times. <laughs> I've seen God, Dave probably five times. Dante feels me, man. Y'all white motherfuckers. You don't know. <laughs> Bad. Uh, I could take I could take or leave the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I could take them because I've always loved them. We all have. My guitar player in AWOL, Zach Irons, is the son of Jack Irons, founding member of Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, and no, lives yeah. in a fucking house. Learn how to play guitar from Fashanti. Fashanti, the best guitar player in the history of guitar playing and songwriter, potentially, or riff writer. Um, but Melody. also I could never hear from them again and be fucking happy as a clam. So now, I, I will I say they are working with Rick Rubin on this next thing. So I'm interested in that because that was Blood Sugar Sex Magic, which is their greatest album it's by far. That, yeah. Like we all know that the radio is dying and it's because they won't stop playing Smashing Pumpkins, Red Hot Chili Peppers and The Offspring. And it's like, let's fucking go. There's four stations in my hometown that play Under the Bridge six times an hour. So <laughs> I could, but I, you know what, Dave? I like the pick. I, like I the do pick. like the pick. I do like. The pick. I I figured that one of you guys were gonna like tear them apart musically. No, and, I'm not gonna tear them apart. Or not not necessarily mu tear them apart musically. Just they're fucking awesome. Well, now that for, really now that nerded out reason back. for them being yeah. Now that Frashanti's now that back. Frashanti's back, like yeah. fuck Klinghoffer. Like Klinghoffer was good in his own thing, but like Frashanti was the writer. Was the fucking where was Klinghoffer from originally? Is he Mute Math or something? What band uh, was he originally in? I don't know, but I fucking don't Zach hates his guts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Kenny, let's go to your second pick. Who do you got? Uh, my second pick uh, is Childish Gambino. Now, Ooh. he has put out a couple singles here and there, but Awaken My Love, right? When that fucking came out, I think the whole world stopped for a minute yep. to enjoy that 70s Philly fucking beautiful record, and I'm ready for another. And then, of course, he comes out with This Is America after that, and you're like, oh, my God. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm ready for another full, full John from that guy. That is a, a diehard pick for me. I fucking love Wait, Gambino. Wait, did you just drop John? Yeah, he's, did I say yeah, John or did he say John? Kenny did. No, I've, been around, I've been around you fuckers for too long. That's, that's I don't good. say that shit. I asked that on Twitter like two, three years ago. I'm like, all right, I'm 
about to ask something that might get me in trouble. What the fuck is it, John? And like all the Philly fucking scumbags piped up. And it's is, like, it, is there a, is there a word in Chicago that if somebody uses improperly, you just get ripped to shreds? Like no, a slang word? they they use finna all the time here. That's a big what? Chicago uh, word. Like yeah. California's got hella. Yeah. Hella yeah. is the is the color, California. Uh, California. No California. one. I have never heard anybody use the word finna. Unless well, they're doing you go so to Maroon, ironic. you go to Maroon Five concerts. That's why. <laughs> yeah, 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 What's yeah, wrong yeah. with that? Nothing. He's that John I'm just Mayer saying that's fucking... like you hang around. I'm a man of the people. I I hang around with different groups. Dante of people gets it. Dante, Dante gets it. Dante gets it. Well, some of maybe the John Aldridge backstage to go John, sit with a the... bunch of fucking scumbags in GA. <laughs> I'm just saying, John is John and Finn are very similar. John is that like, thing. Like if if you're not from Philly, and like especially when people do it in movies, and they're like. Yo, what's that John over there? If you can't use it conversationally, don't use it at all. Like if you can't just roll it off your tongue, like yeah, fucking John was whack. There's a great, don't, don't. there's a great promo for uh, Summer Soul with Questlove yep. that he's talking yeah, about. Yeah. He explains the whole thing about John. I'll text it to you, Dave. Yeah, please well, do. It, yeah, here's here's a, a, I thought I that, feel like I dropped it pretty good, by the way. Pull I up. thought that Jordan Era was uh, until I because I went to college in Chicago too, or Chicago land. Um, I thought Jordan Air was like a nationally known thing until no. I got. I had no idea what the fuck that was. No, yeah. dude. For, first time I ordered something and that came on a sandwich, I I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" Yeah, I went I went back up good. to the counter and I was like, "There's like cauliflower and carrots on this." <laughs> They're like, "Yeah, you asked for hots." I was like, "Not vegetables. What for the hots. fuck is this?" <laughs> yeah, it was Long so hots, confusing. Oh so confusing. God. All right, well, let's move on. Good, good use of John Kenny Dante for your second pick. All right. This would have been my first pick, but I know no one was going to uh, pick it. So I wanted to get Dre out of the way because that would have went. So I was a little str- strategery. There you go. Quote, to quote yeah, George yeah, yeah, yeah. W. Uh, <laughs> this is my favorite band ever because uh, they were the first band I fell in love with as a young, strapping young lad. And first concert I ever saw, Ooh. Oasis. Ooh, okay. I yeah, need yeah, 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 yeah. I need a reunion before yeah. one of them dies because one of them is gonna die real soon. I I can't yeah. believe they haven't died yet. Yeah, I mean I, I bet they you live. Liam would do it, Noel wouldn't do it. They both yeah. released music on their own, which is actually really good. I don't know if you guys got into that. Oh, no, no yeah. Gallagher's high flying birds. High flying birds. Yeah. I got to see him play a couple times. He forgets the words. It's really dope. <laughs> he has so much hate in his heart. Like, have you ever like listened I to him it. talk? I love that. His Twitter is so good. His Twitter he's is a, just shit talking. He's a mean good. asshole. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Wow. But, but yeah, he, Robbie he, Fox is somewhere ejaculating. I just oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, me. So me bought me Robbie and Nate have had a pact for like before i even like knew robbie yeah like in person we had a pact that when they reunite and play it's gonna be in london obviously or manchester we're gonna drop whatever we're doing fly over there pay whatever the fuck it costs you have to to. go see him because it could be it they could literally play half an hour and then get in a fist fight on stage and that could be it there's no way they finished the show there's no way they finished the show oh my god that was pumped not but a goddamn yeah. shit. God, that's great a great job. pick, man. I feel so self-conscious about my next pick. Fuck. I do too, kind of now. Well, my, my next pick is a, a band that I have loved since I was in sixth grade. Their first record was the first record I ever played with another human being. Like, it was me and a drummer. We were in sixth grade, and we learned how to play it. I'm picking the Arctic Monkeys, and I'll explain. Okay. I'll explain. Because they had a record come out in 2018 called Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino, which was yep. basically a troll. I don't know if you ever if you've listened to the record. It I was love like, that record. I love that record too. It's like Bowie meets yeah. lounge lounge music. It's out so space. try hard and but it in is. a good way. You like know they're in mean? leisure like, suits and stuff. But yeah. 2013 was the record before that. That's my last like real record I put my stake on. AM to me is one of my favorite records of the past decade. I love AM. They really went for one specific sound. I love Alex Turner. I love uh, the last Shadow Puppets and all that shit he does. I'm excited to see if they come back and do a fucking record. Like I want to see saw, if they come. We saw Alex Turner at the airport one time on tour, and that same guitar player Zach Irons just goes, "Yo, that's fucking Alex Turner. I'm gonna go say hi." And he goes over and he's like, "Hey, man, I'm Zach." And Alex Turner goes cool and just walks away from it. <laughs> well, I'm like oh my god. I, I mean, I I tease this story and I'll tell it quickly, but. Uh, we opened for Arctic Monkeys at a festival a couple years ago, and they were the one band the entire weekend I had to see. 
Like they were my childhood band. And uh, I got in the pit, the artist pit between the fucking stage and the, the crowd. And they started playing. I bet you look good on the dance floor. And I was, Ooh, great song. Blacked out, blacked out. I don't get blacked out on tour. Like I was like, I was gone. I was raging. And they started playing that. And I started moshing with the other artists and I hit this dude. I didn't hit him with a fist. I just pushed him. He's like this scrawny dude in a leather jacket. And his like bandmates and people pick him up, and it's Mark Foster from Foster the People. So I basically oh tackled God. Mark Foster from Foster the People, and I ran away. I was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, all right, I got to get the fuck out of here. So, that guy is not core in any way whatsoever, so no. he would have blown over in the wind. <laughs> so there we go. That's my pick. Arctic Monkeys is my second pick. Dave, okay. for your final pick. Now I'm self-conscious, and uh, so – we got to end on a high note. I said John Prine. I had Johnny Cash slash John Prine, and I had like a John Prine's ghost. I was going to, I want, well, yeah, that's, I was, was going to say, somebody I was gonna make somebody the caveat. Dead. The caveat Wait, are we talking was, our, our like posthumous uh, albums? Too? I should have asked that in the beginning. I obviously should have asked that in the beginning, <laughs> but then I kind of <laughs> forgot. This and is a snake I saw trap. the two Michael Jackson. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, John Prine. He's every one of your favorite musicians, favorite King musicians. Tut. Yeah, I was going to say Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart for my third pick. <laughs> Drop that heater. No, I will say, though, he probably has music in the bag. So I'll, I, do we vote to allow this? Do we vote to allow the John Prine pick? It's already there. It's already there. It's already right there. Back. All right. Well, John Prine and his ghost are the third pick for Dave. I love the pick. I love John Prine. So there you go. Kenny, your final pick. Man, I went super indie and super artsy for my last pick. There's a band called Alt J that I love blew Alt-J. my right that blew my mind into a billion pieces. That Left first hand, record, baby. dude, oh. that that song, right? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That that first record though that they put out with 2013 or something like that. I was deep in tour, like in Europe or something. And you touring guys will know that like you connect with the record on tour and you're far from home. There's this this special place that it Fuck holds yeah. in your you heart. Never leave it. It's, it, it's, it yeah. never leaves. And then the next few records were great. The last one, Relaxer, is okay. But like those dudes live too are so good. Not a single beat of sweat because they don't move. They, and don't, they don't do, do anything. anything. But like you're still like, this is so heavy somehow. Hey. The drummer, Def, plays with no cymbals. Fuck you. Fuck. Now, this so is another good. cool one to where me and Kenny have both met these guys. You probably know them. I got to hang out with them at a festival one time. Good dudes very good dudes and they taught me to drink what they call tequila sunrise i think i told the story before no it was it was a te- uh it was the coffee drink right cafe sunrise cafe so, yeah sunrise. It, it was the yeah. leftover catering cold coffee oh. with tequila oh. that's what i drank with alt j and cage the elephant at some festival somewhere we all got fucking loose we, did, we just played flip the bottle i don't know why that was the fucking thing at the time we just flipped they're the proper bottle. uk fucking drinkers but great band man like what a bunch of weirdos so it's good. a good pick dude good pick i like that and they're alive uh and dante a tiny desk concert too that i just saw the other day dante your final pick all right I had to think a little bit on this one. Um, I only figured this out because I went and saw him play with famous Elton John. Ooh. And well, my, my answer is Billy Joel. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I went and Not saw him. It's 93. Yeah. I so yeah. I mean, I went and wow. saw him play with Elton John. And of course I've seen him a million times by himself and, I mean, he, the guy's been touring for 50 years and he plays uh, the same fucking 15 songs every night. And I'm yeah. thinking to myself, like, this guy has got to, like, want to blow his brains out after this point. I heard he, that at a lot of his shows that he won't even play, like, you, you know, a lot so, of his most famous songs these days. So him, so him and Elton John split up after that and they have, they, like, hate each other and one of them called the other, you know, an alcoholic and Ellen John made a statement saying, uh, I'll go back on tour with Billy Joel when he finally stops being like a pussy and writes new music. <laughs> yes, yes, and I was I like, love this. I was like, man, that's actually a good point. When was the last time he fucking wrote new music? And I went, I went back and looked, I mean, it was like the Lion King shit. Dude. Or no, not the Lion King. What was the, uh, river dreams? What's, what's, what movie was that so, uh song? I, I for i fucking forget but it was 93 was when yeah was. dude so long ago white man beef love it <laughs> yeah. i would love to see what elton john actually said to him can I look know. it up 
I mean, it, how did it was? Is this like an actual TV interview or? No, this? no, no. It they like they took shots well, at each other through like through newspapers. The print media. And shit. So this is exactly like Kanye and Drake, right? But Ellen John yeah. is like a smart witty gay guy and his responses were exactly what you would think Dude, I that, you guys- I, like he doesn't come off like that to me he comes off as like this kind of fucking dorky like super reserved introverted no. i would love if he said dude make some new music pussy pussy yeah, yeah, pussy yeah, yeah, yeah. i've told you guys before that to me those billy joel records like pressure that's heavy metal that's heavier than the heaviest metal i've ever heard in my life and like i fucking love me some billy joel and the one time I was at we- that concert that day he's one Bonner- of the most Bonnaroo got canceled this year, which we weren't really going to talk about, but got canceled we'll get into the hurricane. Later. But I got to see Billy Joel one year on day three. It was a Sunday at Bonnaroo, and I've never seen so many trash ass dead people oh, yeah. at a festival in my life than Bonnaroo <laughs> on Sunday. It was fucked, but I got to see Billy Joel. It was great. It's a great pick, Dante. I had not yeah. even <laughs> I had not gone back and done that. That's a fucking good pick. I like that. Uh, my final pick is going to be maybe a controversial pick. I don't know. I hope so. Maryland man. This, no, <laughs> not <controversial laughs> like that. No, this might be kind of like a oh, like you're. This is a pussy pick, whatever. I picked Rihanna. Rihanna has not dropped an album in like seven years, almost. Yeah, that long. Yeah. That that actually it has been that that long. She has it. a couple features, but like, yeah, she hasn't dropped a record. Now, first off, she doesn't need to drop music because she's a billionaire. She's she a billionaire with a, a B. Yeah, with a fucking B. But Dante, for you, man. The clubs need something. The clubs need some fucking heat. Supposedly, it's done, and it's going to be like a surprise drop. That's what I read a couple weeks ago, but who fucking knows? We Bro, all love us some Rihanna. I don't you care can't who not. you are. Everybody fucking does. She's the kind of person you don't even think about how many hits she's had. Like, yeah, and just yeah, the yeah. consistency over the years. Like, And she's and- always been like fucking gangster, like hardcore, like the dopest, like – no one has shit to say about her. What no is she going to be singing shit. over? What's she going to be rapping over? What, what what are the beats going to sound like? Like anti, she worked a lot with Travis Scott, which I'm I'm interested to see if they continue that relationship. She's also like almost engaged to ASAP Rocky. Do they? It's just going to be fucking DJ Khaled. Oh my god! <laughs> Another Christ. one. Uh, fuck that shit. But Rihanna was my last Great. pick. Great pick. Great. She pick. would rip your face off. I think. I would let her. I would let oh, her too. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Just beating my ass, baby. <laughs> Please. Just fucking completely to the punch ground. Punch me in the face. Put my fucking dick in the dirt. All right. Well, Rihanna was the last pick. Uh, do we have it? I, I gotta say, Dave, you really fucked me up with that first pick. The, the Outcast pick really. Well, you guys yeah, yeah, fucked yeah, me yeah. up after that pick. That was an easy pick, though. I would. I didn't, I didn't ever even think, think about, about Outcast. Outcast. Yeah. Sal got something to say. I mean, the one that we all missed, frankly, is Frank Ocean. If you're a Frank Ocean fan, everybody Ooh. wants that album really badly. So that's an honorable mention for me, for sure. Like, Frank, I, but the thing is, though, like, we're never going to get it. He might not ever release music <laughs> again. I don't know. Like, he's just, he's a recluse. He's a weird guy. I don't know Dude, what he's going to do. You know what, though? I, his first one was so fucking good. And his kind next, of orange is the shit, dude. And the next one was like, I don't know. I'm not. I'm. I'm not as thirsty as I was after that first one. There's, there's also a- something. There's also something to be said while we're talking about records we want to get dropped. That let's say the Cars dropped a record today. We all know it would make us look less probably on them because the record would be nothing compared to Drive and all those other right. hits, right? But then you look at a David Byrne who put shit out in 2017 well, as one of the best records of all time. So there's well, also something to be said about that. You nailed it. That's exactly why I didn't take. Guns and Roses because mm. as much as I want a fucking new Guns and Roses album, that let new single, that new single they just put out is fucking terrible. Yeah, I don't let it be. That. Just if let let that be. Exactly. If that's what we're gonna get, I'd rather not. Don't soil yeah. my memory. You just ask for fucking Billy Joel to drop a new album though. Yeah, but he hasn't ah. put out anything in 40, 30 years. So when's the last time uh Guns N' Roses has? I mean, the real Guns N' Roses was ninety one. Yeah, 19. 30 years. So I yeah. know they've dropped albums since, but well, I mean, mean they, you, they did the they, they all did their side projects too. Yeah. They did right. Revolver and Chinese Which democracy is, yeah, yeah. and whatever. Duff not, McKagan right. played bass in AWOL for a little bit. I love dude. I Wait, love really? True fucking story. Uh, one very quick story. I'll never forget this. Uh it was Halsey when she first came out. We were playing the K Rock acoustic. Christmas Almost Christmas thing. Yeah, the thing. Halsey came out and she's like I want to introduce somebody 
you may know him from 21 pilots and it's josh dunn and she he came up played drums and we played after her and aaron my singer goes i want to introduce you guys to somebody you may have heard of his band called guns and fucking roses and duff, <laughs> duff mckagan goes walking out the forum fucking erupts dude oh my god yeah what dude. does duff mckagan smell like i just had to dude, that. how good looking is he in person Absolutely, go- him, his wife, his daughters. Slash, his daughter is her best friend, and she was there. And she's be like, they're just beautiful people who like eat healthy and exercise and all that shit. Now, well, Dude. I mean, it, it, I, I'm about to order up some Mexican food. There you go. <laughs> this is why Hold David's up, in man. Guns and Roses, dude. Um, other than that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, and I, 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 I was looking through like random artists, right? And Ellie Golding came up. I don't know why. I was like, what the fuck happened to Ellie Golding? She was like a hit maker for a while there. I would love to hear something new from her. I fucking love Ellie. Yeah, like, I, I could use a new Ellie Golding record. Like I could use a new Megan Trainer record. You know I mean? <laughs> do <laughs> not, <laughs> do not put them, do not they put them not on the, the same, same level. <laughs> I was also represented. She by, sucks. <laughs> I was represented by Ellie Golding's people for like a year, and that was the worst experience of my life. So. I'm back on the fuck Ellie Goulding train. I just remembered that. I just, like, just came into my head. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Fuck that shit. Um, other than that, are we missing any? I wrote down Run the Jewels just because I want RTJ5, but we just got that last year, so I kept it. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. And it still didn't touch the first one. But like, What about, like, I- Good Charlotte, uh, Creed? Come on, man. Boo, boo, <laughs> boo. Charlotte. Dude, I just heard I just heard the anthem in the car the other day and was like, man, this fucking song was Dude. so good. I was about to say simple things because Teddy swims, but the little things by good Charlotte was the very first song I ever legally downloaded on like LimeWire or whatever the fuck Napster maybe. Jesus but I specifically Christ. remember because a girl told me to. I don't know if I hate any band more than I hate good Charlotte, but I have <laughs> worked with both the brothers and they are the sweetest human. Beings. Yeah, me that. too. They, they did them. a little like DJ thing yeah, where when everyone was celebrity DJing, they were fucking terrible each individually, but they were the coolest fucking nice. I re- nice, I re- nicest human being. I remember my last two picks. They're both bands. Uh, I want new arcade fire. I'm a big Arcade Fire guy. You said DJ. Yeah, yeah. It reminded me that Wynn Butler, the singer of Arcade Fire, when they're on tour, does club gigs as DJ Windows 98, which I no think way. is a fucking great DJ name. I would love great a new name. new Arcade Fire record. And then, the, oh, Father John Misty. I'm just a huge fan. I'm a fucking nerd for Father John Misty. I would love more just because I, I don't understand how he does what he does. But all right. So that's it. That is uh, the first mini episode of Green Room Picks. We'll be back next week with the debut of the fucking radio show and then the show on Tuesday and then Green Room Picks next Thursday. And it goes on and on and on and on. Uh, Guest for next week. Might as well drop it. Andy Grammer will be our guest next week, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking great interview me and Dave did. He's an awesome guy. Uh, We got a new single to talk about for him. We'll see you on Adobe Radio on Monday. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know what you thought on social media. Let us know why Dave's last pick was dumb. And uh, we'll see you guys on Monday, all right? (laughs)